My name is David Kemsel. I'm the Managing Director of First Thought Equine. We're the designers and manufacturers of the Wow Saddle. We have a suite of videos that we've put together so that you are more able to adjust and refine the fit of your saddle as your horse changes or as you change horses. Hello, this is a video to show you how to fit a fore girth to a club saddle. We use a fore girth to direct the girthing more forward than where you would normally have it when you fit a point strap. It's actually in front of the tree. So it's in front of where you would normally have the point of the tree. We would use this in instances where the horse is very mutton withered, maybe built downhill, and the girth groove is very forward. We hope by keeping the saddle in place that the horse will use itself correctly through the shoulders, pulling up more through the wither, and eventually we should be able to remove this. Now, because the girth pull is more forward than even the front point of the tree, we have to counteract that pull so we don't flip the back of the saddle up. So we counteract it by using a balance strap option. Now the balance strap option fits onto the back panel bolt and you'll see where that goes in one second. And then we also recommend that you use that in conjunction with a H girth. Now the H girth will spread the pull of the girth from the front and the back over the sternum because a lot of these horses that are mutton withered, built slightly downhill, well sprung rib cage, also tend to get over girthed. So using a H girth will really improve the way of going of the horse and the comfort of the horse. Here we have a panel to show you the relationship of the fore girth to the saddle. The fore girth will fit onto this front spigot and it will also fit onto the back panel bolt here. It will actually slip in between the steel plate and the plastic of the panel, like so. Your back balance strap will also be inserted in that point. So you're going to have four items that you're actually screwing together at the back and this point here. Okay, to fit the uh, fore girth, Firstly, you need to undo the bolt at the front. Keep the bolt in place. Don't remove this bolt, keep it in the saddle. And the other one that you need to undo is the back panel bolt here. You will remove this bolt, and when you remove it, make sure you remove it with a small serrated washer. It should also be on there. Keep the two together, put them to one side. Okay, at this point it's possible for you now to swing the panel to one side and now we can see the girthing arrangement inside the flap. If you're not using a point strap, it should be stowed in this point here. It is just to keep it neat and tidy don't be tempted just to pull this straight up through here. We need to remove this strap, so we're going to pull the strap physically out of the flap and remove it from its stowing point. We want this V arrangement here to be loose. We're not going to use this. To do that, we make sure that the front strap is pulled up and when it's in, in the uh, fore girth, it will attach to the front bolt here and it was going to pull straight down and in fact it's going to pull straight down and slightly kick slightly forward as well. Okay, leave that where it is. The next thing we need to do is need to pull the back strap out and we need to remove the back strap because this back strap is now going to go onto our uh, balance strap option. So, undo the strap and remove it, leaving the V inside 
the flap. Just tuck it back inside and forget about it. If we take a balance strap option, have the leather uppermost as you're looking at the saddle upside down. Good side of strap, the side that you want visible to the user, downwards. Pass the loop through, open the loop up, pass the strap back through the loop, like so. So you should have leather uppermost inside the gullet and the good side of the strap down. Back balance straps which will come through steel plate goes underneath the gullet lining this is important it's only from the point of view that it looks awful if you don't and that is where our back balance strap is going to connect like so our foregirth our plastic foregirth is going to be going over the top of this so at this point now I can slide this in as well through here underneath the panel now as you can see it's fiddly to get all of this lot together so the easiest thing to do is take your bolt put your bolt through the plastic of the panel then through the plastic of the foregirth And then through the strap of the balance, put the whole lot, line the whole lot up so that it's now in place, ready to screw down. At this point where we now have the bolt through the panel, the fore girth, the balance strap, the steel plate and all into the tree, not hard. Not, not done up tight, we can now flap everything back and we can see what we've got. This strap I want to be inside the flap, not outside. So now I'm going to slip it without sending it through any of the V's and tangling it up with anything else. I'm going to lay it inside the flap so that it follows the back line of the flap neatly not twisted, not catching any other webbing. Do that on the other side. Okay, so again, we're gonna put the bolt through the panel plastic first. Then we're gonna put it through the fore girth plastic. Then we're gonna put it through the balance strap. Screw all this together so it's good and tight. So you can see as much bolt as possible. It makes life easier when it comes to lining everything up. Use the bolt as an extension of the screwdriver to get it through the steel plate. Line everything up with the hole, the fixing point, and do it up a few turns. Leave it again, and now we can line everything up at the front. Once we have put the back strap flat like so okay now pick the whole lot up and turn it over at this point you're probably thinking you've got a jigsaw puzzle in front of you but it's very simple take the panel put the fore girth on Make sure your webbings and everything are sorted out and they're not crossed over or tangled. Put your point strap on. Pull the whole thing up, off of the spigot up to the front. And again, don't do it up tight, do a couple of turns. Okay, so again, panel, full girth option on top of the panel. Find your point strap. Put your point strap over the spigot. Put it in. 
do it up a few turns. Okay, so the important thing is that this strap takes a nice direct line down through this pocket. Tight. Like so. Okay, so. At this point, that you must remember, once you've got all of your straps in place, to do all the bolts up on your saddle, good and tight. The ones you should really make sure are tight are your back, back bolts. Now I'm using a drill, but to be safe and rather than sorry, I would always suggest that at the very last part, you make sure that you do that with a hand screwdriver or T-bar. Your point strap option would come from this bolt straight down. But now we've kicked it forward using the fore girth option. So now you can see it's actually in front of the saddle. To counteract the pull, we've put this balance strap at the back, as far back as we possibly can get it. And if we use a H girth, then we're going to counter the pull by pulling straight down from the back and from the front, keeping the saddle more level and even on the horse's back. You'll also find that on roly-poly horses, it will be a lot more stable. I hope you found this uh, video informative and useful when you come to using your four girths. There are plenty more um, videos that will be going on our YouTube uh, channel and you may also contact us via our Facebook page or via the website. My name is David Kempsell. Thank you very much for watching.